Hello, we're looking at a specimen that comprises a segment of small bowel and we're looking at the serosal surface here. This is recognizable as small bowel because of the absence of tinea coli or appendices epiploicae. Both of these elements are seen in large bowel. Let's take a look at the main pathology and we can see in this region that there is a very large mass that is markedly thickening the bowel wall and in fact, even in this area, we are able to appreciate the mess. Let's take a closer look. This whole area of the bowel wall is abnormal. And in fact, it is thickened by this homogeneous pale tan mass. And it sort of obliterates the usual sharp demarcation of the muscularis propria. We call this homogeneous appearance a fish flesh appearance. And even in this area, you can see the pale tan appearance of this mass. You will notice that there are some areas, for example here, as well as here, where there appears to be geographic areas of pelo within this fleshy mass. These areas represent necrosis, and usually within a tumour, necrosis is a sign of rapid growth, and hence usually indicates an aggressive tumour. The reason for necrosis is because a rapidly growing tumour would actually outstrip its own blood supply. So here is an example of an intestinal lymphoma and usually lymphomas cause rather ill-defined masses. The cut surface is often a homogeneous fish flesh appearance and there is also another feature in this specimen which is located here these are the mesenteric lymph nodes and we can see that they are stuck together or matted and also the cut surface shows a similar appearance to the main tumour mass. We can also observe that the lumen of the bowel is significantly narrowed because of this tumour and therefore the patient may actually present with intestinal obstruction and in fact because of the large size of this tumour mass, there may even be a palpable abdominal mass. And remembering that this is a lymphoma, the patient may also experience systemic symptoms, which are known as B symptoms, such as fever, night sweats, and loss of weight. Types of lymphomas that can affect the bowel include B-cell lymphomas, such as malt lymphoma or mucosa-associated lymphoid tissue lymphoma, and large B-cell lymphoma, those would be the commonest ones, and even other lymphomas such as mantle cell lymphoma. Burkitt lymphoma may also affect the gut. Now, T-cell lymphomas can also affect the bowel, and these are often aggressive. So in summary, this is a segment of small bowel showing a very large, ill-defined tumour with a pale, tan, homogeneous cut surface with extensive areas of necrosis and with associated regional lymph node involvement.